Hey guys, so it's Christmas Eve, and on Christmas Eve, we get together with my husband's side of the family, and what we do with that side of the family is we, whenever we have a big gathering like this, we always do a potluck, um, and that way one person isn't, you know, burdened with cooking everything, and there's not overwhelming. Um, the only thing we do do is that we pick a theme. So this, this year, the theme is Italian. And then we all get together and put together like a menu. We do it over a group chat. So I'm making stuffed shells and my mother-in-law is making a uh, pasta with some Italian sausage dish. My sister-in-law is making chicken parm. My niece is bringing salad and um, bread. And then we have about three or four desserts. We're taking a chocolate cake. My husband always makes chocolate cake. They expect it at this point. Um, it's just regular chocolate cake with frosting and someone's making a pie and then everybody pitches in and makes different appetizers. So like my other sister-in-law is making a cheese and crackers platter. Um, we're making pepperoni mozzarella rolls that you bake in the oven and someone's, oh, my other sister-in-law is making deviled eggs. She makes them every single time we get together. It's like we expect it at this point <laughs> and they're really good and not sure what else, but we have everything covered appetizers, the dinner, the dessert, everything's covered and that's how we do it. And then that way everyone's pitching in, everyone's, you know, splitting up the work and everything and it works out perfectly. So I'm making stuffed shells and I'm going to get started. And it's kind of important to have a theme because you don't want to end up with like fettuccine Alfredo, pork fried rice and nachos or something, you know? So if you pick a theme, then everyone knows to make something that, you know, goes with what everyone else is making. So it's perfect. Stuffed shells is something that you can assemble. What I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the shells, stuff them, make the filling. I'm going to assemble everything in a large pan and then I'm going to bake it half an hour before we eat so that it's nice and melty and delicious. Perfect. Okay, so the water for the shells is just about to boil. So I'm gonna salt the water generously because that's what you do. Okay. So I don't wanna dump the box of shells in there like you normally where you just dump the pasta because I don't want the shells to crack. If they crack, then I can't fill them. And there's about 40 shells in a box. I bought two boxes, but let's see how many stuffed shells I could fit in the pan that I have. I got an extra, extra long aluminum pan. So let's see. And these are jumbo shells. I'm gonna give them a mix because I don't want any shells sticking to the bottom or to, or to each other. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to come to a boil again and I'm gonna give it another stir because I don't want them sticking to each other at all. Okay, and since I'm boiling these to stuff and then bake in the oven for another half an hour, I'm only gonna boil them for 10 minutes versus the 12 that it says on the package. And once I drain them, I'm gonna run cold water over them to stop them from cooking because you don't want a mushy shell because then you won't be able to fill it and it'll fall apart when you bake it. So just boil it for a few minutes less than it says on the package. If it says 12, do nine to 10 minutes. And when you drain them, just run cold water all over them so that they stop cooking immediately. And they'll finish cooking in the oven when you bake them later. Give them, yeah, they're starting to stick already, so just give them another stir. Just like that. All right. I'm going to put the timer on for nine minutes. Okay, I'll see you in nine minutes. Okay, so the pasta stopped, um, finished boiling. I drained it, and now I filled it with cold water to stop the cooking process, and I'm going to drain it one more time, and then I'm going to start lining up the tray. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna make the sauce. And to make the sauce, you need a me medium onion. These are small onions, so I'm just gonna do two because you're gonna saute these. And you just wanna dice this up, not too big, not too small, just regular dice. Okay, 
because you're going to saute this with some olive oil and garlic, a little salt and pepper, and you're going to put your marinara sauce in there. I'm actually going to do an onion and a half. I'm not going to do the two full onions. Okay, and you need six cloves of garlic minced. So I'm just gonna crush them with the knife and then I'll just chop, chop, chop. Okay. I could use the food processor, but I don't feel like digging it out and it's just more to wash. This will only take a few minutes. Okay, so now, so to get the sauce ready, I'm gonna put the stove on. I'm gonna heat up about two tablespoons of olive oil, just like that. And I'm gonna start sauteing the onion first, and then I'll throw the garlic in, just so it doesn't burn. like that. So once this starts sizzling and softening up a little bit, then I'll throw the minced garlic in. And I'm going to do a little bit of salt. It'll help the onions start releasing their water. A little bit of oregano. And a little bit of black pepper. Just like that. already starting to sizzle. All right, so this has been sauteing for a little bit, so I'm going to put the um, garlic in. Nice. And you want the heat on medium because you don't want it to start burning or sticking to the bottom. Okay, now that the onions are softened, the garlic is fragrant, I'm going to pour in the two jars of marinara sauce. It's six cups of sauce in case you make your own sauce or you buy big jars. It's six cups of sauce, which is exactly two of the smaller jars, the um, 24 ounce. All right, let me put these upside down to get the rest of it out. And you could turn up the heat a little bit now to like a medium high because you want this to come to a boil and you want it to boil for like three to five minutes just so that everything is All right, we got every bit of that out. So now we're gonna let this come to a boil and we're gonna let it simmer for a few minutes. Okay, so it started to simmer, you see back here. So I'm just gonna give it a stir 
and I'll just let it simmer for a few minutes, like three minutes, three to five minutes. Okay, so this has been simmering for about five minutes. It's nice and hot. You see the steam coming off of it. I'm going to pour this in the pan now. And that's going to be the base, the little bed that our stuffed shells are going to sit in. All right, let me get this poured into the pan. Now, I'm making a double batch, so that's why I'm using such a large pan. That is the pan I'm using. It's huge. Um, and I'm hoping that 40 shells is enough to fill that pan. If not, I have an extra box over here on reserve. <laughs> but let me get the sauce poured in there, and then we'll start making the filling. All right. Okay, so we got all the sauce in here. Just spread it out at the bottom. Just a bit. Okay, so you're just gonna spread this out. Just give it a little jiggle. Make sure it's everywhere. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna make the filling. Okay, so to do a recap, I have the boiled shells in here that I ran under cold water so they wouldn't stick. And you can see they're not stuck at all. They're perfect. We have the sauce that I sauteed the onions and garlic and simmered for a few minutes with oregano, salt, and pepper. Poured that in the pan. And now, and now I am going to chop the parsley and make the filling for the shells. Okay, so to do the filling, you need four cups of ricotta cheese. I'm using whole milk this time and it's a little hard to scoop. So you want four cups of ricotta. So I'm just going to push this in there. Whole milk ricotta for some reason is a lot thicker than the skim that I buy, but I'm going to measure out four cups. Okay, that's two, two more. I bought the huge 40 something ounce container because it actually was cheaper than buying a bunch of small ones, even though I don't need this much, but I can save it and make something else with it. Not a worry there. So, Okay, so I got four cups of ricotta cheese. And I'm going to crack two eggs in there. Probably should have cracked them in a separate bowl. Okay, we got two eggs. And we're going to add four cups of mozzarella cheese. One, two, three, and four. So four cups of mozzarella cheese. Oops. And you have a little extra mozzarella later to top it off like another two cups. And I need two thirds cup of Parmesan cheese. If I can get this open. I'm just gonna cut it. Okay. Okay, so two thirds cup Parmesan. That's one third. And two thirds. And I'm going to do about a half a teaspoon of salt, just like that. And we're going to do a sprinkling of black pepper, just like that. 
And then we need half a cup of chopped parsley. So I got the parsley here. Shave off some of the leaves here. All right, let's see if that's enough. Take out some of the bigger stems. All right. Okay, get this chopped up. I'll try to roll it. Let's see. Need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And you want to save a little bit for the top because you want to garnish it as well. Okay, so we got the half cup of parsley. Put that right in there. And that's it. That is your filling. Okay, and I just wanna mix everything together. I'm using a fork, because I feel like it's easier and it doesn't stick to the fork as much. Okay, so that is well incorporated. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my shells and start stuffing. The easiest way I have found to do this is to use a little cookie dough scoop because that way you're getting an even amount in each one and it easily just comes out. You don't have to use your finger to scoop it out and all getting stuck and everything. So what I'm going to do is like an assembly line. I'm going to put my shells over here. So I'm going to put my shells there, my ricotta cheese here, and I'm going to put the pan of sauce right next to it. Okay. So this little scoop, this cookie dough scoop is the perfect amount for a jumbo shell. And then once you stuff it, you're just going to lay it right in the sauce, just like that. Okay, so you get another shell. Get your cookie dough scoop of filling. Put it in there gently. It comes right out. And then you just press it down, and that's it. Lay it in the sauce, just like that. And just keep going until the tray is full. I have about 40, a little over 40. There was like 44 in the box. Perfect amount, look at that. Little cookie scoop. Get another one. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep filling. Okay, so now that they're all stuffed, you're gonna cover these with mozzarella. 
You need about two cups of mozzarella cheese to sprinkle over the top. Just like this. All right. And now you're going to cover them and you're going to bake them at 375 for half an hour because you want the sauce bubbling on the sides. And then when you take the foil off, you can let the cheese get toasty brown a little bit and then sprinkle some parsley to make it look even nicer. Okay. So now you're going to cover with foil and bake at 375 for 30 minutes and the sauce is going to be bubbling. You're going to take the foil off. And if you want to, if you want the top to be toasty brown, you can put it under the broiler for about two minutes just to get the cheese toasty brown. If you don't care if the cheese is toasty brown, you just want it nice and melty, then that's it. 30 minutes, 375, and you're done. Okay, we are taking these to go because we're gonna bake them at my mother-in-law's house. So I'm just gonna wrap them in foil and I will finish filming over there to show you what they look like when you take them out. Okay, so I'm gonna get these wrapped up and we'll see you later. Hey guys, unfortunately, um, we heated these up and we put them on a warming tray until everybody was ready and they got a little dried out and the cheese firmed up a little bit, but they tasted delicious. They're definitely best heat and serve right away. Anyway, thanks for watching.